How was your hotel? Fine. I'm sorry I didn't stay last night. Oh, I've been kept in the dark over this for 12 years. What's another night? I could see you were angry. I can see you're angry now. Where do you want me to start? I want to know why you didn't tell me I had a grandson. It wasn't easy. Easier really. than telling me, though, evidently. When I realised I was pregnant, my marriage to Mike was over. I didn't want anything more to do with him. If he'd known about Adam, he'd have hounded us until he got access or even custody. Yes, yes, that's why you didn't tell him. It's why he didn't tell me, I don't understand. I had to be absolutely sure that he would never find out. So you didn't trust me? I did everything I could to stop you marrying that man. I know. Do you honestly think I'd have told him anything that would have given him a claim on you? Yeah, but you could have told somebody else. He could have found out that way. I'm a father, for goodness sake. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? <laughs> well, that's just it. Trust is something you get with families that are close, happy. We never really had that with you, did we? Maybe that's why I couldn't tell you. So you're saying it's all Ken's fault? No, it's not as simple as that. You're saying you didn't trust me? Never to breathe a word to anyone that you had a grandson? No, I didn't trust you. Never to go and buy him a birthday card at the cabin without telling Rita? Never to tell your wife or girlfriend? Never to put his cards on the mantelpiece where everybody could read them? No, how could anyone be trusted? So if Peter hadn't come back, I still wouldn't know. Peter hadn't said anything to you? No. You'd have just gone on shutting me out. It was you who did the shutting out. Oh, no, that's not fair. I know I've not been the world's best father, but... How often do you get in touch with either of us? We get Christmas and birthday cards, the odd phone call, that's it. Well, I thought you were happy on your own. I thought that's how you wanted it. Well, that's just an excuse. You could have had more contact if you wanted. Well, if I'd known you had a child... You'd have started out with good intentions and then just drifted away like you always do. I think you're being very hard on him. Really? How often do you get in touch with Tracy or Daniel? When was the last time you rang either of them? It's the same with us. Don't blame me if you feel shut out, Dad. You reap what you sow. To tell me. Of course I was. Especially in the early days. Life isn't easy as a single mum. But then I made more friends, I settled in, and the longer I kept it a secret, the harder it was to tell you. Does he know about me? Thinks we fell out years ago. Not hard to believe since you never got in touch, is it? Yes, I uh, think we've got the point. I still think Ken had a right to know about Adam and Mike, come to that. Trust you to take Mike's side. What happened between Mike and me happened years ago. That's below the belt. Would it have been so awful to tell him? It would to me, yes. Does Adam know about Mike? No. He thinks he walked out when he was small and that we've lost touch. You see, it's Adam you've shortchanged as much as Ken, playing God like this. He's had to grow up without half his family. The half that would have bickered over him and let him down. The fact is, he's a happy boy and a well-adjusted one. We've done very well on our own, thank you. Right, well, uh, I'm going to leave you to it. So let's see Liz off. Yeah, I'm going to get off as well. Have we seen you again, no doubt? I'm sure. This isn't going to sort itself out overnight, is it? Bye, love. Right. See you. Any more you want to know? I think I've got the broad picture. Where is he now? He's staying over at a friend's for a couple of nights. And where does he think you are? Away on business. You only came here to stop me going up there, didn't you? So you wouldn't find out about me. Have you got a picture of him? Or am I to be denied that too? That's last summer on holiday. Handsome lad. Never guess who his father was. So, are you going to go back and uh, not say you've been here? That was the intention. Not a very good basis for an improved relationship, is it? 
I don't suppose it is, no. So how long does this go on? Another 12 years? Or do I go to my grave without seeing him? You've done the hard bit now. It's Mike. You'll never find out from me. I mean, whether to see Adam or not won't alter that. I have to be sure. I'll give you my word. Am I that bad a person that you have to carry on punishing me? It's hurting him too, keeping us apart like this. Please, Susan, look, you've kept me frozen out for long enough. Is it time you let me back in? Hi. You ready for another? <laughs> another what? Kick in the face. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I, th I thought we were getting on all right. Mm, yeah, so did I. Until you had lunch with me the other week. And let me tell you something. I don't let nobody do that to me. I had a lot on my mind that night. Oh, well. And let me give you one less thing to worry about. <laughs>